Let's go to the next step, please. Third step, third drill. First row, technique development. Work on your technique. Second step, when you learn something, teaching something. Work on your hitting skills. Third step, now let's work on blocking. How do you block? Let me do this real simple. Everybody sit down real fast for me, please. Mike? Yes, sir. Let's just take a couple punches. The jab, now when the jab comes, there's ways of blocking. I could roll the shoulder, catch it on the shoulder. Okay? I could just bring the hand forward, just kind of peel it off the back of my hand. Yeah, you go block it with your chin, okay? That's Florida style, okay? All I want you to do is cuff it. So cuff means this. Cuffing, I'm catching the side of the wrist, side of the wrist, on the wrist, over the top of the wrist. That's what cuff means. Brush means I'm brushing it to the side. If I catch it, I catch it like a, a ball. Is that what you said? Catch it. So I want you to kind of a combination of a cuff catch, and as you do that, brush it to the side, bring your hand right back. So when the jab comes, I just want you to practice kind of cuffing it to the side. Then when the right hand comes, I would like you to kind of, right hand comes, I'd like you to just kind of roll the shoulder, catch it. I mean, roll to, to the inside. That's called rolling. In other words, some people say that this is rolling and it's not. That's called weaving. Roll is like if you're lying on the ground and you kind of do it for them. Just lie down flat. Now, if he rolls to this side, that's called, see, roll my body, then I roll back. That's called rolling. So in other words, in a standing position, if I take my front hip and I turn it to the inside, I'm rolling to my inside. Does everybody understand what the roll means? If I take my rear hip, see, or if I take my front hip, I take it to the outside, now I'm rolling to my outside. Is everybody up with me? So now on the right hand, after I cuff the jab, boom, the right hand's gonna come right between foot. He's going right for my chin. All I'm gonna do is roll my hip. When I roll the hip, the shoulder comes there. Now on the end up, I can kind of lift the hand up, shoulder up a little bit, or if I'm smart, I'm gonna keep this left hand up anyway, and then right at the last minute, I'm kind of rolling the shoulder and kind of blocking at the same time. So watch it. This is kind of nice and easy. One, two, here we go. One, two, roll. One, two, roll off the shoulder. One, two, you can snap back. One, two, boom. You everybody see what I'm doing? Then it's my turn to go back. Third step is called blocking skills. You work on your blocking techniques. All right, everybody got it? Let's go. Position, just walk, okay? So for example, face me. If he's throwing, let's say, a left uppercut, okay? Uh, up to the chin, okay? I could roll my hand in here and make it slide up for him, okay? I could do a cross bow, I could cuff it down. I could catch it this way with this arm. Or we do what we call a forearm block. When it comes to it, we just come right down on the forearm like so. Or I could cross this way with it, all right? So there's many ways of blocking any technique. I'm just showing you one way of kind of catching the jab in the right hand. All right, because I don't have time to show you 20 million blocks. It's not the purpose of this class. I, may, I mainly want to focus on movement, okay? But I want you guys to walk home with a structure, how to work on a specific technique. So you can teach class or you teach yourself, use the structure I'm showing you, okay? All right, go. Work time.